Okay, hey YouTube, it's me, One Bar here with Overpowered Tech, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to download, install, and use um, the RuneScape Reference Toolkit SwiftKit. SwiftKit is basically a in-game application that you can use that will give you a whole bunch of tools that will make your RuneScape experience a lot more enjoyable and easier to play. SwiftKit um, is perfectly legal under the RuneScape guidelines, but everybody's probably thinking to themselves, well, Jagex says that third-party software um, is against the rules. Well, what they mean by that is like bots, macros, um, and all those ty auto players that kind of like play the game for you and give the player an unfair advantage. But all SwiftKit does is just a reference. It gives you information about items, prices, how to complete a quest, Atlas, maps, and everything like that. So you can use it. And it is a free download, it's a safe download, and it um, does not steal your account, which a lot of people think that it does. But SwiftKit itself does not take your RuneScape name or your RuneScape password. It only takes um, just your name, like your real name. So um, I don't play RuneScape that much anymore, but when I used to, um, I used to use SwiftKit all the time. And now when I play occasionally, I still use it just because of how much it's helped me. But so yeah, so first you go to Google Chrome, or well actually any website browser, I use Google Chrome. And go to swiftkit.net, S-W-I-F-T-K-I-T dot N-E-T, and hit enter. So as you can see, this is the SwiftKit website, and it says the, a complete RuneScape toolkit. It says right here, some features include skill calculators, player stats lookup, high score tools, fully integrated IRC client, screenshot taker, viewer, and uploader, quest center, adventure log center, atlas, server status, armory, mp3 slash online radio, and database lookups, and many more. So as you can see right here that SwiftKit supports both Windows and Mac OS software. So you can, if you have a Mac, you can still use it. If you have Windows, you can still use it. I'm not 100% sure if there is Linux support but it doesn't list one, so I don't know. The Windows download is 2.7 megabytes, and the Mac one is 1 1.6 megabytes. So as you can tell, I'm using a Windows operating system, so I'm going to download the Windows free download. And as you can see right here, it's just backup download mirror sites, like if this website's not working. Um, requirements, Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Internet Explorer 8 is recommended. If you just keep your um, computer up to date with updates, you already have all that. Um, other downloads, Sun Java. Um, if you've played RuneScape in your browser, you already have Java, but don't worry about all that. And all of these are already on your web computer, just by having a computer. So, just hit free download, and the download will start. So, this type of file can arm your computer, I assume you want to download it. Yes, it doesn't ins screw anything up, trust me. And you just open it up. Yes, I want to install it. So basically just go through the installation process like any other damn thing you install. Use it next. Oh, right here it says host and supported by Zybez at RuneScape Community. Give them a visit. Zybez is a RuneScape reference site. More or less like RuneHQ, Wikia, Tippet, um, all those other ones. But what puts Zybez ahead of the rest is their Treasure Trails helper. Um... With the release of like elite clues and everything, Zybez is definitely the place to go. Only because like when you get a clue with like um, coordinates, it gives you a pinpoint location of where exactly to like to stand. Like it helps you a lot. But yeah, you go on to next. I've read all this, but I'm just re downloading it for you guys. Just hit I agree. SwiftKit's file will be installed in the following directory. Um, so if you need to find a file, that's where it is. And next, start. So now it's just installing. It's not. It's a really fast install. It just sits at 100 for a second, but it'll, it catches up to itself. So I'm just gonna let it. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. But yeah. So SwiftKit has been successfully installed. Just exit out of that. Exit out of that. So I can see SwiftKit opens itself up. It says right here, click launch SwiftKit to begin. So you launch SwiftKit, and right here it's just patching, make sure you're up to date, um, making sure you have every file you need. And right here it says patch, download SwiftKit needs to restart for it to take effect. So you exit out of it, 
or you just hit OK and then you open it back up again and you gotta patch it again launch it up patches one more time just making sure you have everything just like double triple chicken updating everything that you need and when you first get it it'll come up with this it says profiles so the first thing you have to do is you have to create new so your profile name I'll do one bar that's just my name on here we can type in your RuneScape name if you want. Um, you don't need to. This is only for um, calculators, high score tools, and other miscellaneous features, it says. But it's optional. You don't need it. It doesn't affect you in very much. Profile password. This is not your RuneScape password. As you see right there. Do not use your RuneScape password. What this means is that, let's say, me... Facebook user and Easy Button and Captain Couch all shared one computer, and we all used SwiftKit. And for some reason, I didn't want Derek or a Facebook user playing on my SwiftKit account, which would make no difference at all. But let's just say that I could make a password on here so he couldn't get into my account, which I think it's utterly pointless because it doesn't matter if I play on my account or if I play on Bill Gates' account. The game will play the same. It doesn't matter. You don't even use the same account. But one bar. And then I just hit always use selected. And then just use it. Click use selected. And then you'll get this. So this is the actual screen. This is like the home page of SwiftKit. As you can see right here, this is all your tools. Um, this is your skills for high scores. It'll tell you like, for instance, here, let me type in my name. This is my new account, so it's not very high level. But for instance, you can see like it's pull only pulling up my 40 hunter because I'm not ranked anything. But I'll tell you, your skills hunter, I'm ranked 907,771 of all the players. I have 37,000 experience in it. And all that kind of stuff. Um, right here, it'll just pull up random things about me. It did like my recent events. My friends list, I believe. Oh no, my database. Um, right here, you can search databases. So for instance... Rune Pickaxe. Oh, it's not pulling up anything. I, items. I didn't go to items. We go to items. Rune Pickaxe. Rune Pickaxe right there. And it'll give you a price right there. We can go view more info. And it'll give you a picture. If it's members or not, tradable, equipable, stackable, how much it weighs, its quest, and what you can use it for, what you can attain it from, um, just random notes, all that good stuff. Um, now here's a quick links page. So for instance, like let's say you use Root HQ a lot when you're playing, you can go click web link, title. I'm gonna do our YouTube channel, so I'm gonna go overpowered tech, and then I'm gonna do the URL www.youtube. My bad, youtube.com. Come on, well, I can't type today. Slash overpowered tech and hit add so now you'll see I have a quick link for overpowered tech and when it's highlighted white all you do is hit open and it'll pull up a browser called swift browse and it takes you to whatever website you have um, right here this, this button right here it says play rs that's where you go you click it and it brings you up to the runescape website so as you can see you don't really sign into swiftkit you still sign into runescape and it gives you a play duration on how long you've had this page open. If you click this button, it disables this button. So like when you're playing, and you want to click here, but you accidentally click here, because like I'll hit, for instance, manual, just for something else. Because if you click this button, it takes you back to the RuneScape ho homepage. And if you're playing, it would not be good if that happened. Um, this right here is a calculator. Let's say you're gonna buy nine. Um, things that cost 1,000 coins and you click right here it'll just give you like how much it will cost this right here is a world clock um, so let's say there's a clan event going on and at Alaskan time so you can click Alaska time you can see what time it is in Alaska so I live in Pacific time so it's 217 but if you want to go to Eastern time it's 517 so it just changes according to where you are 
this is a screenshot menu. Um, you can take a screenshot by clicking right here. So if I want to take a screenshot of like a party or something like that, I just click that. Um, right here, this is called Show Internal Utilities. If you click that, it, it comes up down here. This is like a notepad. I believe it's a notepad, actually. No, I think it might be a scripter where you can input your own utilities. Right here, this is a... I have no idea what this is. I've never used that before, but... This right here, this is just random... It's like a grab bag of things. Guides are your skill guides, quest guides, activity guides, tasks, overviews, and fairing codes. Um, here's a treasure guide, treasure locator, puzzles, world map, dungeon maps, skill calculators, progress calculators, pest control calculators, fighting calculators, and combat calculators. Here you can view screenshots, drag screenshots, make a to-do list, server status, and settings. So yeah, this video is going to an end. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for my videos on tech, tutorials, unboxings, reviews, montages, everything of that sort and in between. Um, this has been one bar. And I'm out.